And we begin this new hour with that breaking news. The lockdown has been lifted for two local high schools prompted by a threat on social media. One student is in custody. Good afternoon, I'm Tiffany Alanese. Webster and Rogers were both locked down this morning. Fox 23's Rick Miranon is there live near Webster in West Tulsa. And Rick, an alarming morning for students and parents. Yeah, and for the parents, many of them got the text message that their student was on lockdown. And in light of what happened last week in Florida, there was a small rush for parents to come and get their children. Now I'm standing catty corner to the school. We didn't want to interrupt things now that class is back in session. But take a look at our video and you'll be able to see this building was locked down after they found on social media a video th making threats of either coming for a students or threatening to shoot students is what we have heard. Uh, gathered from what we have from the school, police, parents, and students together. We do know that one student is in custody, but the lockdown was about an hour to an hour and a half as they investigated what was going on, if this student was going to come back to campus, and uh, if that threat was actually viable. We did. I did speak with Christian Massiz. He is a student who was in lockdown. He was one of those being pulled out. Uh, with the, his mother's permission, his mother was standing next to me. I asked him, what was going on this morning and what was that like for him? You can listen to what it was like to be inside the school once people started seeing threats on their phones through their social media apps. I didn't see the video, but I did see that they were saying that uh, that he was coming for Webster or something like that, and we were just like, okay. So and then, uh, since our intercom doesn't work in our classroom, we didn't know what was going on until our dean came in and said, lock your door because we're on lockdown. Wow. Yeah, so that's pretty much why we were all like, what's going on? And nobody told us anything until we found out on Facebook. We do know that one person remains in custody right now. He, uh, we, whether they are facing any charges or under arrest, we are working to find that out. This is all still unfolding as that investigation takes place into why someone threatened two Tulsa area high schools. And we will hear more from parents about why they say when they see the word lockdown and their kid text them, they darted here and made sure they could try uh, and tried their best to get their student out as soon as possible. Reporting live in West Tulsa covering news that matters. I'm Rick Marin on Fox. 23 news. Certainly can't blame those parents. Rick, thanks so much. I'm glad everybody there is safe. Tulsa Public Schools released a statement saying in part, quote, we commend the students who saw the social media post and reported it to their school leaders. Thanks to their diligence and swift action, our campus police team and the Tulsa Police Department were able to respond immediately.